In this lesson, we're going to create our first Angular application. It's not going to do anything yet. We'll add all of that later. We're just going to initiate it as an empty module. We start with this HTML code. As you can see, we're including the Angular library and a file called app.js, which is where our code is going to go. It's empty so far. The first thing we want to do is add, specify the root of our application. We'll use a directive called ng app and we'll give it a name expenses app that's going to be the name of our app what's a directive what did i just do directives are elements that you place in your html code and that tell angular that certain behaviors will take place on where, where those directives are in this case by setting the root of our app in the html node we're telling angular that the scope of our application will be everything that's inside of this particular node. In order for us to include logic in our app, to include um, controllers and functionality, we need to create a module. We're going to add a new module for our app. Let's create a new variable. I'm, calling, I'm going to call it app, but it could be called um, something else. And we're going to refer to a global object called a global object called Angular. That object is available uh, when we include the Angular library. And we're going to type module, so we're creating a new module. The name of this module is going to be expenses app, so we're specifying the, um, the name of our application. Modules can have, can depend on our modules. You can inject modules inside of other modules so that they can use those other modules functionality. In this case, we're not injecting any module but we still have to specify the dependencies, which in this case is going to be an empty array. So there you go. We have, we've created a new Angular app, a new module. It doesn't do anything yet, but we'll, add, we'll take care of that later by adding a controller.